The University of St Andrews is located on the east coast of Scotland in the town of St Andrews. The University currently ranks third in the United Kingdom behind Oxford and Cambridge and with 8,000 students we have a teaching environment that's small enough to be friendly and personal but we have world-class academics and facilities. Students have been studying geology and mineralogy since the mid-1800s at St Andrews. The first geology lecturer was appointed over a hundred years ago uh, and so there's a heritage of teaching and training students in this field. What we want to do here in the department is take this geological heritage and combine it with uh, field work in Scotland, across Europe and with our 21st century research labs. We are able to take advantage of amazing geology which is all around us in St Andrews. The coastal uh, locality means that uh, we're at the interface between the land and the sea. We have a very broad range that covers the complete temporal and spatial relationships of the earth from rocks formed very early in earth history to modern day oceans, atmospheres, ecosystems and how they're responding to climate change. In our department we have three degree programs, uh, four year BSc in Geology and in Environmental Earth Sciences and a five-year integrated master's programme. We have the highest employability rate in this field in the UK. We've been fortunate in attracting some outstanding young academics. We've provided them with world-class research facilities and they are addressing fundamental questions about the origin of life, about the origins of our environment, about the history of the Earth through time. This is the Peter James Clark Center for Philosophical Geobiology, and it is a new facility that's dedicated to studying the intersection between geochemistry and microbiology. My research focus is on the co-evolution of life and Earth over geologic timescales, and how these changes in Earth's environment have led to changes in biological evolution. What we've actually found is that on the very early Earth, the atmosphere flip-flops several times back and forth between a clear sky state and a hydrocarbon-rich methane atmosphere. What we're investigating now is how that would have uh, affected things like biological evolution and global climate. Undergraduate research is really important in our group and in St. Andrews in general. They get to get involved in the science and see uh, some of the techniques and methods that we use in these different disciplines. Working alongside experts in their field of study um, has helped me get a context to material taught in class as well as helped me develop my research interests. We have an excellent suite of new facilities here at St Andrews uh, that allow us to do a whole load of new types of geochemistry. Mass spectrometry is a technique that we use to measure the chemical composition of various different substances. Within the earth sciences, these could be rocks, minerals, ice cores, seawater, river water, you name it, we can measure it. And we're using those chemical compositions that we determine uh, to tell us things about climate change, uh, the formation of the Earth's crust, how different planets formed, or the age of rocks and minerals. One of the things that I've taken a great interest in is how we can reconstruct CO2 concentrations in the past. We can use uh, the isotope composition of certain shells and corals to let us know what the CO2 concentration of the atmosphere was a million years ago, 20 million years ago, and we can understand why our climate has changed over that time period. The faculty in my department are researching every single continent uh, of the earth and some of that is traditional geological research on ancient rocks, uh, for instance in South Africa, Canada, Australia. But also they're researching places like Greenland ice sheets with you know, major research vessels. People are going diving and looking at seaweed and its importance in, in climate change. Looking at corals in coral reefs around the world. Great diversity of not just geographical locations, but also um, types of research. One of the main reasons I came to St Andrews is because of the large amount of field work that they offered. As soon as you come in first year, you instantly go out on a field trip in one of the first few weeks, and that continues all the way through. You have day trips, weekends, and weeks away um, every single year um, here in St Andrews. Students spend more than 100 days in the field at St Andrews. Every single year, there are residential field classes taking a swing through the Scottish Highlands, at the basic iconic sites of Scottish geology, going to Spain, making a transect through the Alpine origin or further afield in Norway or Australia. 
St Andrews is a great place to study earth sciences because as people say Scotland's the home of geology and St Andrews kind of proves it. So you've got great geology here on your doorstep and it's in such a central location you can get to anywhere in Scotland fairly easily including the famous Sicker Point where you get to visit in third year. Here at St Andrews we give students the integrated experience in every one of the different environments that rocks are found in. St Andrews offers opportunities for international students to enroll for a semester or a year at St Andrews or just to visit during the summertime and take part in one of our summer field academies and take field trips to the highlands and the lowlands uh, seeing many of the same features we teach our students over four years. It's an exciting time to be studying how the planet works. And at St Andrews we have an excellent teaching program combined with cutting-edge research and world-class laboratories to address some of the fundamental questions on the evolution of our planet and its environment.